Drivers, when you hear my exciting news, I guarantee you're going to go out and sign up so you can make some money just like I did. Hello and welcome. My name is Russ. I want to assure you, you are in the right spot if you want to make some money. I did my first Grubhub. Now this is the difference. It's a shop and pay order. That's right. I think a lot of people on Grubhub just think of it as food delivery, but they have shop and pay orders. So in this exciting video, I'm going to share how this order went. I'm going to lead you through some of the unique things on this app. I'm going to cover what the pay is, and then I'm going to wrap it up with how you can sign up for the shop and pay card. So let's go over this easy shop and pay order. Always pick things that have low item counts. And the reason for this is so you can get in and out of that store really quick. This offer came in for CVS for two items. And I'm not familiar with CBS layout. I've been in there a few times, but I know you can get really bogged down. But two items, how hard can it be? So <laughs> the first one, a package of tampons. And as I was looking for them, I searched that whole row and I just couldn't find them. So I moved on to go get the kids multivitamins. Once I found those, I came back and I asked a worker. She took me to the same aisle and then amazingly, she turned to the left and it was right there. So all I had to do was just turn around and look. So after finding those two items, I headed to checkout. It went very smoothly. I paid with the shop and pay card, and then I delivered it to the customer. So overall, it was a very easy process. So that was just the highlight of the order. Now let's get into some very important things on this app that are different from other apps you may be used to. The first, you can take two pictures if a replacement is needed. So you're going to have to decide how you want to use those two pictures. Naturally, you can just use one picture if needed. Now, the second thing that's of note, you cannot chat with the customer. So in this case, initially when I couldn't find the tampon, I took a picture of the area and then I sent it to the customer. Grubhub gave me the notification that I need to wait five minutes for the customer to respond. I looked through there, I couldn't see any way of calling or chatting with the customer, so I was just waiting. So this is something you're going to have to keep in mind when you need to find a replacement item. The next thing of note, you need to be very deliberate with your phone and the barcode. You can't hold the item in your phone at any angle. It has to be vertically right on, that way the barcode lines up with your camera. So just be aware of this. It's not that hard, but now you know. And the last thing of note, when you're ready to check out after you've paid, you are going to take a picture of the receipt. Now, just like with the replacement items, you can take two pictures. So this is up to you if you want to split it in half or what have you. So there you have it. These are the unique things about this app that are different from what I'm used to with Uber Eats and Instacart. So now let's talk about the money. And I think this is where you're going to get excited too. In total, I made $12.86 for this order. Base pay came in at $9.68, and then there was this bonus for $2.57. The customer tipped $1, and I do find this as common with all the Grubhub orders. A lot of them just tip a dollar. In light of making $12.86, I drove 3.34 miles, so I think the dollars to miles are great. What about time? I looked and it took me a total of 11 minutes from the time I parked, going in shopping, and then delivering to the customer. So if you can do three or four of these in an hour at $13 almost, those are great earnings. Now, in this case, I had a bonus. I don't know if that's gonna be there again, but say even if you're getting $10 for an order like this, I think it's still well worth it because you could easily do three of these in an hour. That would be $30 an hour, something to keep in mind. Please do share in the comments below. I live in California, and I know that Grubhub tends to put the Prop 22 money in advance, and it's very accurate. Please tell me, what are the base pays in your area? And then I think you're easily going to be able to decide if these orders are worth it or not. So now, let's look and see how easy it is to get your own card. You go to Account Settings, and then you touch Driver Card. In there, then you say you want them to send you one. 
So that's it, it's pretty easy. I think in light of these earnings, you should definitely do the shop and pay orders on there. Grubhub is known primarily just for doing food delivery, but now you can see that it's unique and that they also do shop and pay orders. Did you know they also do catering orders? I got one and it was great. I wish I would get more of them, but until then, you can check out this video next and I'll see you there.